So Epic Cosplay Wigs sent me their Atlas in dark brown with lace front. They also have a non-lace front version of this wig that you can use for this tutorial as well. It has perfect layers, it's got long pieces in the front we can use for his sideburns, and overall it's a great wig for him. Before we start styling the actual wig, if you're using the Atlas lace front, we need to trim off the lace. Take some tiny manicuring scissors and get as close to the hairline as you can, and carefully cut away the extra lace. You want to use tiny scissors so you can get as close as possible so the hairline looks as natural as possible. If you're using the atlas with no lace front, you can just skip this step. To begin styling Tanjiro's wig, I start with a section of hair that I'll use as the sideburns. He has fairly long and structured sideburns, so you want to take a big piece and start angling it using a combination of a shearing method and also a chipping method of cutting like I show here. Once you've cut it to the length that you like, you can go back and forth between hairspraying and blow drying to get it to form to that point and also to lay flat. Then on the other side, section off a similar sized piece and repeat the same steps. I definitely recommend having some clips on hand. That way you can keep extra hair out of the way. The heat of the blow dryer will help you form the hairs into the direction that you want. It makes spiking a lot easier. To finish the shape of the sideburns, you want to section off a slightly smaller piece above the actual sideburns and make a smaller spike. Use the blow dryer to get the hairs to lay in the direction that you want. If you're looking for a frame of reference of where to put this second smaller spike, I put it at about the cheekbone level. Once you're happy with the shape, you can repeat on the other side. Once your sideburns have been sprayed down, we're going to do lots and lots of teasing. Go through the entire wig with a comb or a teasing brush like I'm using and make sure to brush downward into the wig. This will create a little bit of a matted effect, but it's going to help with the volume later. Once your wig resembles a bird's nest, you're all done with the teasing. I then generously spray the wig with hairspray, flip it upside down, and hit it with the blow dryer. You then want to take your teasing brush and just brush over the top layer so the top layers of hair are what's smooth and look nice. This is my favorite method to give your wig lots of volume so it helps with spiking. Now on to the actual spiking of the wig. Start at the crown of the head and take a small section and point the tips of the hair upward. I then go back and forth between holding the hair with my hands and blow drying it and then spraying it with hairspray. This will eventually hold the shape so the ends of the hair flip upwards, just like Tanjiro's hair in the anime.
having trouble getting the spike to hold, you can tease it a little bit more at the base. By going back and forth between hair drying or heating the hairs and spraying it, it helps to keep those odd spiked shapes in place. Basically going to repeat this process of heating the hairs, flipping the ends up and spraying them for the entire head of the wig. So put on some of your favorite music and get comfortable. Also mention that you should be careful when heating the hair in your hands. If you need to, get a heat protectant glove so you don't burn your fingers. Once you've gone over the entire wig and got the spikes into the placing you like, you can hairspray any odd flyaways down, adjust some spikes with the hair dryer, and trim up any weird ends of the spikes. And with those last adjustments, you're done with your Tantra wig. Okay, now that I look a little bald and crazy, I'm going to show you how to put on a lace front wig if you're unfamiliar. I'm using spirit gum to hold the edges down. I take a little bit of spirit gum and put it at the top of my head to hold the widow's peak down, a little bit on either side of my temples. And you're also going to want to put some down for the sideburns. If you're using spirit gum as well, make sure you tap the spots to make sure they're tacky. I then take my wig and carefully pull it over my head and adjust it so it fits right. Again, make sure you tack down those sideburns so that way your hair looks more natural. This step isn't mandatory, but if you're looking to try and make your wig look more realistic, you can take some eyeshadow colors similar to the wig and use it to blend in the lace a little more.
finally my Tanjiro cosplay is complete. Thank you guys for sticking around and I hope this helps you style your Tanjiro wig. Thank you to Epic Cosplay for sponsoring this video and I hope I helped you guys out. And until next time, see ya!